Hello, welcome to Code Me Creator. My name is Luke, and I'm going to show you how to get started building your own level. So we'll click on here. And to get started, very simply, I can just begin clicking, and you'll see we put the basic block down. Down the sidebar here, we have our other kinds of blocks, for example, water. So I can build a small pool here and use the arrow keys and go swimming so we can test things out that way along the top we have our other game objects so I can put the robot in then I can put a weapon in and you'll notice the robot isn't moving so we need to go into test mode so by clicking this slider up here it goes into test mode now I can pick up the gun and shoot just like in the game when I go back out of test mode, then everything resets. So the other major part of the game, obviously, is the door. If I click on the door, you can choose what kind of door you want and click to put it down. Just click where you want the door to be. And if you want to change it, choose another kind of door and click. You can only ever have one door in the game and you can't delete it because you must have at least one door. So we've got the castle, we've got the kind of spaceship door there, and this door is the door from a uh, New York subway train. Um, and like everything else in the game, these doors were designed by our design group at Weatherfield Academy. To go with the doors, you'll need some keys. Well, you can make a level without keys, um, but most of the time you want to have some keys for the player to find so those are down here and I can put the keys in now when I go to play mode so I can get the gun shoot the robot, collect the keys and the door will open now there's no level complete when you're in des design mode so it's just for you to test whether or not the door opens and if you can get to the door so I'll go back to editing. Now, obviously, you may make some mistakes. Um, so you may want to delete. And delete is up here. You'll see everything goes a darker shade of red. So I can delete that. Um, one tip for a lot of the enemies to delete them, click on their, their feet. Now, to move the screen around, you can zoom out here with the magnifying glass and if you hold the left button down you can drag the screen around like that if you don't like doing it that way we have another option down here we have the scroll icon if you click that now I'm using the arrow keys to move around or the WASD keys just the same as moving the player so if that's easier for you, you can use those keys by turning the scroll icon on or you can use the mouse to drag it around. Another handy tool, let's go to the blocks. Um, I'm going to choose some ice here. If we turn this lock on, instead of clicking one by one, I can hold the left button down and drag to quickly draw a whole line which is obviously a lot faster if you're designing a big level and you can also use that for deleting so if I go to delete mode then I can click and move the mouse along to delete everything so I think that's probably all of the main features you need to know to get building you can explore some of these other options for yourself and I'll cover them in a later video or if you've played the game for a bit you may know about the different kind of blocks like flight mode um, and our different kinds of power ups so the coins um, I think it's probably everything you need to know to get started and in the next video I'm going to talk to you about changing variables down along this bottom bar Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part two.